it, do you want to read another one, Jeff? I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling pretty overcome with darkness, Russ. Oh, I'm, I'm, God, Johnny, go give him, give him a hug. Give him a hug, Johnny. I'm sorry. John, Johnny, give him a hug. He scares me. Does anyone, you, want, you want to go? Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. Does anyone else want to give him a hug? I mean, if you're feeling it, if, if you need to, just jump. To, Stephen, if you're feeling it, he really could use the support. Uh, Alex, anybody? Uh, just whoever. Yeah, thank you, Wade. Okay. I think, yeah, that's better. Don't you guys think that's better? That's, that feels better. Okay. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Holt. Can we hold this? Yeah, if okay. you could hold that, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think I, I think I have the support I need. I can read another one. Um, the Worker. He must endure work, for writing such as his won't pay the bills. His stomach tight, he forces through each day with dreams of night, dancing like showgirls just beyond his reach. Then, when it's six o'clock, he feels cast out, unsure of what to do or whom to call, when anything he does is bound to fall away like pebbles from a bridge. He sought escapes in alcohol, the fog of dope. One led to rage, the other panic spells. Without the fires from these familiar hells, he stumbles through the darkness, giving up the hours like dying pets who've lost their voices. He thinks he can remember having choices. That was the sweetest and darkest thing I've ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Holtz. Thank you.